Hey family, it's me, Jay. Question for you all. For you. First of all, don't judge me. Don't judge the get up. This is uh, Airbnb cleaning day over here being Cinderella. But I do have a question for you all. Ladies, you are dating and you've been dating this guy for some time. Things are serious. You have two kids. One, um, you have a six-year-old and then you have a 17-year-old. So the guy moves you and your six-year-old in because the 17-year-old lives with the father. Things are going good with you and your guy, you know, living, you know, y'all doing a family relationship things. Something happens where your 17-year-old has to come now and live with you all. So the six-year-old is receptive to your relationship and he's adapting to your your guy the 17 year old comes in rude disrespectful unruling and is not respecting this man's house not respecting this man's face just totally out of order so now the man he's like you know listen you need to talk to your child you know like i'm not with this you as a mother as sometimes we do we're justifying the behavior because that's our baby. Listen, can't nobody say nothing to our baby. But you about to lose your man. So how do you handle that situation? How do you handle a disrespectful 17-year-old, almost 18-year-old, that was so unruly that the biological father shipped them, put them out and told them, you know, to come live with the mother. You heard me right. At a crucial point in the son's life, the biological father puts his 17 year old son out and say, hey, go live with your mother and let your mother handle this. First of all, I thought that that was just backwards. You know, a father, a boy at that age, you know, if you can't deal with your son at 17 and he acting like that, what you think his mother gonna be able to do? That'll be a different part of the question, story. But how is this man supposed to handle this situation? Your 17-year-old, which was not a part of the original equation, has now come into his house and he's disrupting his peace of mind. He's disrupting this man's peace of mind. He's disrupting this man's home. This man is bringing it to you. And as a mother, you're siding with your child. You're disrespectful, rude, trouble-starting child. So now the man is at his wit's end. And he's like, yo, I, I can't take this. I didn't sign up for this. I know that when you came into the picture, when we got together, you had, it was me, you, and your six-year-old. We did not bank on having this 17 year old disrespectful demon that you have now how should this situation end what do you all think i mean is this man wrong for saying you know what listen this is too much i can't deal with this I i'm done with the whole thing because i didn't sign up for this i gotta go she gotta go or the son the 17 year old the disrespectful 17 year old oh soon to be 18 year old has to go but go where? The father done kicked them out. The mama live with a dude. And the dude is tired of your disrespectful child. You all, this is a hard situation. But tell me what should this man do? Because he really is struggling. He loves the lady. He loves her six-year-old. He doesn't really know the 17-year-old. And they have no bond and no rapport because the 17-year-old is not open to it. How should, this hand, how should this situation be handled? Comment in the video and let me know. And guys, listen, please do me a favor. Listen, like this channel, the J-Spot Radio right here on YouTube. And also subscribe and tune in live Thursdays to the J-Spot, our podcast, Thursdays, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on YouTube. But let me know, guys, how should this man handle dealing with this disrespectful 17-year-old that has come and has torn and just disrupted the whole piece and the whole vibe 
in his household let me know drop your comments in the video until next time guys listen let me go ahead up in here and clean these toilets because that's what i do airbnb super host uh, three years straight <laughs> you better get it you better ask somebody because that's how i get to it because i'm about to get in these toilets <laughs> amen well, I thought you were subscribe, but y'all know what I'm saying. So please forgive my get up again. You know, I have on a little bit more lip gloss and some makeup. But you know what? I don't need no makeup to be up in here cleaning these toilets. And I hope that they ain't filthy. Talk to you guys later. But let me know, what should this man do?